Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people and huge welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. This might be a slightly longer reading. I'm going to have a look at a bit at Biden's trip to the Middle East and see how that goes. Now, uh, I was reading a, one of my lovely viewers, I was reading a comment about Biden's trip to the Middle East and I went, hang on, I had a dream about this months and months and months ago. And if I can dredge it up, see if I can remember it but I did actually have a dream about um, a, a Biden making a trip to the Middle East and trying to sort out a really destructive and I cannot for the life of me remember how it ended because I don't remember my dreams but let's see I'm, I'm, I'm going to plug into that oh the birds are being noisy this morning beautiful day out today I'm going to plug into that and see what the cards bring for me uh, so uh, if you get all sorts of ads in the middle of videos, I do apologise. I have it set for no ads in the middle, but YouTube's changing their, uh, changing their settings. Um, and yes, we have sorted out the internet. Um, and fabulous to have you here. So I'm going to do an energy reading to start with. I'm using my Gilded Tarot Royale. I do apologise if the light doesn't work particularly well. Uh, I'm not in a familiar, I'm not in a location where I can control it. Uh, if I sort of sat anywhere else, you'd get the photo of the back end of the boat or you'd get the, the, the washing hanging on the line of the bed. So it is what it is, what it is. Okay, so I'm going to have a look at the energies behind Biden's trip to the Middle East. Now, he's supposed to go to Israel first. I don't know that he's actually going to end up going to Israel. Uh, I am. This is entertainment only. We'll see how it plays. I just see. I, if I remember the dream, I remember there was a last-minute change of destination, and I think that might be to do with. So, what what um, uh, Secretary of State Blinken has been doing is he's been all over the Middle East trying to broker some sort of ceasefire or peace agreement or something like that. Um, now, I'm not anti-Israel, I'm not anti-Jewish, I'm not pro-Palestinian, I'm not anti-Palestinian, I'm just anti-war and pro-peace. So Blinken's been all over the Middle East. Um, I don't know that he's been terribly effective, um, but what's happening is so Biden is heading over there to try and broker something to minimise civilian casualties. And then, of course, overnight, a Palestinian hospital was bombed and... Uh, oh, 500 were, at least 500 were killed in that hospital. Uh, just, uh, just, uh, yeah, just, uh, and so far away, I just feel so hopeless. I just want to get their heads and bang them together. And mm. so anyhow, deep breath, off my soapbox. So Biden, he is meant to be meeting the Jordan King Abdullah, the Egyptian president, al-Sisi, the Palestinian Authority, Abbas, and of course Netanyahu, to try and sort something out. Show me the energies behind. I've got a real prickly scalp, so the boys are here. There's a card flung out. It's just chaos, chaos at the moment. Um, so try and sort out the chaos is what he's going to try and do, but show me the energies behind so what's happened is, you know, the is, Israel has ordered the Palestinians uh, to head south, uh, e the Egyptian to the Egyptian border. Egypt is saying that Israel isn't allowing Palestinians to cross the border. The Palestinian, the Israel is claiming that it's um, the, the Palestinian Hamas that's refusing to allow the Palestinians to cross. It's just a I'm going to say a freaking mess at the moment. So show me the energies. I'm going to do an energy spread here. I call it my spiritual growth spread. Let's have a look. An energy spread for Biden in the Middle East. He's heading to the Middle East. No one, goodness me, what a schedule this dude keeps at 80, 80, 81. Makes me exhausted just looking at the schedule, let alone doing it, because it's not like he'd be kicking back watching a movie as he's heading over there in Air Force One. Let's have a look. Biden in the Middle East. Show me Biden. The energies of Biden in the Middle East. Is he going to be able to broker a deal? 
Come on down, let's have a look. Right. We have this, the judgment card as the signifier, a collective awakening, a call to arms, a real wake-up call. I keep seeing something is going to happen that's going to be OMFG moment where it's literally going to be a brick to the head of those that uh, need sense knocked into them. Some of us don't uh, need sense knocked into us, but there is going to be this brick to the head moment, wake up call happening. It will bring about a collective awakening. We are entertainment only. I don't know if I said that already. I seem to lose myself when I'm in, in with my boys. But here we have the challenge is going to be bringing about a, a emotional coming together. This is not about a logical, practical uh, wisdom moment because on a logical, practical, wise moment, this uh, conflict would not be occurring. It's an emotional so it's about bringing an emotional culmination. The challenge is going to be bringing parties emotionally together. Um, if in the going on behind the scenes, yeah, there's this lies and deceit and betrayal and propaganda and uh, falsehoods that are being being put out there uh, that Biden is going to have to deal with. It's literally the sly fox. And I read a couple of days ago on whether Netanyahu was potentially behind the Hamas, you know, in some way behind the Hamas attack. And it was as clear as day that, yes, he is in a in an attempt to hold on to power. So, yeah, there's a lot of truths that have been stolen in regards to the situation over there at the moment. Yeah, the giving and receiving help, the money, this is the energies behind what uh, Biden's going to have to deal with, uh, the giving and receiving of how the money promised behind the scenes, um, back and forth. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, and I know you can't see those cards because of the mouse. No, no, I do apologise. That's why I'm holding them up. However, I think he may be able to broker something out of this Seven of Swords betrayal, deceit, lies, stealing, energy we've got the six of swords moving forward to calmer waters so there's still there's one sword less but i think so i don't think it's going to be a full uh brokering but we've got six of those seven swords packed up moving forward into calmer waters so i suspect out of this he may be able to broker some sort of piece it won't be a full uh, full solution out of the six of pentacles the giving and receiving help we've got the lover's card the fading of the masculine energy the aggressive masculine and the coming forth of the feminine between these two pillars of wisdom as the light has shone on this situation so partnerships agreements contracts but they are more of a compassion compassionate, empathetic nature uh, coming forth. So I suspect from that uh, he is going to be able to broker something. Um, yeah, let's see where this goes. The karma hanging over. It's going to be money. There's going to be money promised. Yeah, there's going to be money promised to rebuild. I don't know that it's going to be both sides, but there is going to be money promised to rebuild and here we've got oh, the neighbors starting up their vehicle here we've got yeah the the money trail behind the scenes uh skilled work let's see where this goes i wonder if this is the money trail to expose the treachery i think it is i think u.s intelligence have a money trail that they have told biden about the treachery and deceit and betrayal and everything that's gone on that he's going to use as leverage. I think that's what's happening here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, here we've got the overseas card, the ship coming in. So I think there's a plan. he has a plan that will, will work. And here is the inspirational leader bringing forth this new plan, this new idea with a powerful message attached. 
that is going to bring about restriction because there is a whistleblower spy in the camp with Crail coming forward, being presented forward. Yeah. And this information is being brought, brought forward about poor choices that were made in greed, made in greed and, and the lust of power and vanity and money, etc., where there is a particular party who's going to have to defend themselves about this particular choice. They may not realise that Biden knows this already. Biden and Blinken know this already. It is yet to be revealed with the Queen of Cups there, but it is powerful and it's going to bring about a new beginning. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb here and here we've got Sword of Truth prosecution, an offer being made because there are secrets that are going to be brought to the surface and exposed about how money swapped hands and brought this about and brought this about and there is strength in this information. I am, then we've got the, the Ace of Wands again, a new start, a new start for the government. Okay, I'm going to go actions having consequences. <laughs> yeah, they just keep coming. The cards just keep coming. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that there is information out there that the US has, that Biden has and Blinken has, that is connecting Netanyahu. I know this is drawing a long straw and I know it's a conspiracy theory, but I think there is information out there linking Netanyahu to his role behind this and it's going to be a key negotiating point that he will need to step down as part of the rebuilding offer. I know that's a long bow to draw. Let's have a look. Let's have a look as I split the deck. I had put them back and I had shuffled and I split it and here is the whistleblower bringing forth the truth. I'm going to say the intelligence service and actions having consequences and justice being brought. Holy crumbs. Right. Show me. Show me. Very quickly, I'll do a... First of all, I'll do a quick Celtic cross. Will Biden and Blinken be able to and, and their associated staff, because it's not just them, there's a lot going on behind the scenes, will they be able to negotiate a ceasefire, a cease of this conflict? Will they be able to will they be able to negotiate a ceasing of this conflict? Yep. Yep. The tower card. I'm not even going to do the Celtic cross in regards to this because I'll show you the cards on the bottom. This is about tearing down the existing structure to be able to rebuild new. This is about the crown on the top being literally exploded off so that something new can be rebuilt. There is strength in this. In this new start information messaging plan that is coming forward. Look at this, three major arcana and one top, top, top. Um, well, the ace, yeah, full exposure, full illumination on this. I'm going to say they have information. They have information that Netanyahu is going to be seen to have caused this caused this conflict through his betrayal and deceit and his lies. He's going to be stopped and held upside down and shaken. And he's going to be exposed as the snake in the path with the full light shone on him. And he's going to harvest 
what he has sown. He's going to reap what he has sown in regards to money. This is quite so. That's yeah. I think I think that's going. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh gosh, I wish it would happen sooner. I I really feel. I can see Biden walking into a room and putting the paperwork on the, slapping the paperwork on the table in front of Netanyahu and saying, we have this in front of King of Jordan, the President of Egypt and the leader of the Palestinian Authority. I can see this. Oh, holy crumbs. And Biden is furious. Furious. Don't get on the wrong side of that, dude. Okay, will there be, will Biden and Blinken and their associated staff be able to negotiate an end to this conflict? Will they be? I see. Okay, thank you. I see the Israel soldiers going into Palestine and literally wiping out not the people so much, well, yes, the people, but Palestine as territories, which is going to lead to the new unified country as because there's going to be no separation anymore. Oh, man, religion has a lot to answer for, doesn't it? Also, the exposure of, of, uh, of what's coming out about religion. I mean, they're the same. They, they worship the same God. That's why the same location is important to both of them in Jerusalem. But they just do it differently. It's, it's very much like um, Northern Ireland, where it was the Catholics against the Protestants. They worship the same God. They worship the same Bible. They just did it differently. Oh, just... Ah, as a spiritual, spiritual, spiritual atheist, oh dear, does my head in. Okay, will Biden be able to negotiate peace? Will Biden and Blinken and the associated staff be able to negotiate an end to this conflict? I'll get off my soapbox. Will they be able to? Okay, two cards flew out. I'm going to bring them down and show you. The signifier card, the information, the whistleblower, the spies bringing forward the truth. Challenged by significant healing, balancing the star of hope and promise. Foundation of this, it's going to be a heavy task. It's going to be an unruly package to carry the planning it's you know this is a conflict that has been going on in modern history since 1947 um there was there have been extended periods where both parties both sides uh live together peacefully but there's always been these skirmishes getting worse since i believe the 1960s so it's not going to be an easy task to get all this this Oh, what's been planning, documents, information, messaging to get it all up this steep hill in order without dropping any of it. So this is the foundation. It's not, it's going to be a hard slog. It's not going to be easy. Mm. Mm, okay. I did have a thought, but it went. So that does mean that it, what, what, not yet. Okay. In the past, working together. So this is about the negotiation. We've got three parties working together, and I think it's going to be uh, Egypt, Jordan, and the US working together to try and bring a resolution. Crowning this reading, it is going to be a cross, significant crossroads point where the blindfold to the truth needs to be lifted off, and the truth needs to be exposed to the light of the feminine moon exposed to the light. So is he going to be able to um, end this conflict? 
Five of Cups, the emotional past in the immediate future, but this is also working, it's just working together, drawing on a, a joint past emotionally. There's a lot of, going to be a lot of emotions in this negotiation externally, uh, new boundaries being set with the nine of nine of wands there, new boundaries and the surrender, the, the surrender and ceasefire. So I think what's going to happen is, yes, internally it, it's going to be about who gets what, where, when, um, financially rebuilding. It is going to be a real balancing, juggling act about what ship comes in, what ship goes onto the rocks. Yeah, yeah just a real balancing act. Because here we have in the hopes and fears is the abuse of power. The stealing, the deceit, the sabotage, and I'm going to say the self-sabotage is going to have to be exposed. The abuse of power is going to be have to be exposed. But here we have the Page of Wands, a start with the information being brought forward a new plan, it'll be a, a gentle plan, to, a small plan to start with, here's the infighting, you started it, no, you started it, you threw us under the bus, no, you, yeah, the infighting, so it's not going to be easy, there's going to be a lot of infighting in regards to this, but then here we have the inspirational feminine energy with a plan coming forward, a compassionate, empathetic plan coming forward with this feminine energy that I think all will be comfortable with. And here we have Biden himself, the emotionally mature negotiator, diplomat uh, figure coming forward. Biden himself, five of cups. Uh, I don't think anybody was going to get everything that they want. There's going to be loss, disappointment, emotional. Well, okay, thank you. I thank you. What I'm getting is when it's all over, there's going to be what the hell was this all for? Because we've got the loss on an emotional level, but we have this working together, coming together, working together, coming forward. This King of Pentacles figure, I'm going to call him Netanyahu, is going to face some justice. Something really unexpected is coming for him with that page of cups that will be instrumental in moving this forward. Will be instrumental in moving this forward. And here we have, I shuffled, shuffled, shuffled. Is this again being stopped and being shaken and the money falling out is going to be stopped. And then we have this new healing beginning, significant healing beginning. Holy crumbs on the base, we've got the truth bringing about the downfall. I hope you can see the cards, the truth bringing about the downfall. There is a lot of information forward coming, coming forward very, very quickly for those that had a secret agenda behind this. I mean, you know who I'm talking about in government, those in government who had a secret agenda behind this, they are going, the light is going to be shone on the snake in the path, they're going to be exposed, their mercenary actions are going to be exposed, their foolishness as they were, as they tied themselves to this devil ghastly, ghastly devil energy. Look how many major arcana we've got here on the base. An offer is going to be made, and I suspect that's for Netanyahu to step down because there is strength, strength in exposing this manipulation that certain people want kept, held secret, 
with the four of the money trail held kept secret about the lies, deceit, betrayal, but there is this harsh truth that cannot be denied that will bring about the birth of a significant new beginning. But I'm also, this is also an expansive card. There is a lot. There is a really big, harsh truth coming forward. But this is also about the birth of something new that will bring abundance to all. Cards keep going in the same sort of vein, so I'm going to stop there. Yeah, I got, yep. Yeah. Biden knows. Biden knows. They have the proof. He's going to walk in. He's going to slam it on the table in front of the other par, whoever other parties are there. And I'm really getting that it is Netanyahu. Get your backside out of town because we've got this information, is what I'm getting. Okay, let's see how it plays. Far out. Okay, love to you all. Take care. Look after yourselves. Not worth putting yourself in, not worth dying for these autocratic leaders. Take care. Bye-bye.